Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I thought I'd go over some, you know, sound design stuff that has to do with organs. I wanted to create something, you know, similar to like a church organ, like a pipe organ. And if you actually look in the presets for M Sound Factory, you see it has something here. And this actually sounds pretty good. I'll let you hear it. But this was actually never made into a device, it's just a preset, so if you look here, like, oh, there's nothing there. And I thought, I could probably make this into a device, but I thought, eh, there's probably a better way to do it than using this oscillator. And recently I've been messing around with the impulse train, and I thought, is there a way I can use that too? So, I'll actually show you a way you can do that, using the impulse train and the additive oscillator to create uh, this type of organ sound. You could just use the additive oscillator by itself, but... I, I like using the impulse train, so let's do that. So first, I'm going to turn the attack down. I have a blank, uh, just blank, blank preset here. Uh, turn the sustain all the way up. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to take the velocity and just change the range to zero because velocity, uh, organ's not velocity sensitive. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add the impulse train. Okay. Oh, next thing I also want to do is turn the gain down because this can get a little bit loud. Now I want to add a modal filter. Where is it? Modal filter here. Use my handy dandy preset that turns on all the harmonics. Okay. Now that I have that up, uh, turn this down. And I actually don't need all the harmonics. If I use this now, turn the resonance down. We don't need that all the way up. I like it for this around like 50%. I'll put it down. You hear it, it sounds nothing like an organ. Really buzzy, harsh. I don't need that. One thing, it has too many harmonics, so it has like 32. Uh, but also, you see all the harmonics are the same level, which is just bad in and of itself. Uh, let's try it with a saw here, and let's reduce the amount of harmonics to, let's say like 15 or so, or maybe let's say 12. Sounding... Organ-ish, but not perfect. And you're thinking, like, can really make an organ sound. But let's check it out if I actually use this. So this is an actual organ, the harmonics from it. So let's hear what this sounds like. This does sound like an organ, but using this by itself is not really that useful because I can't really adjust the harmonics. So what I want to do is I want to take some of these harmonics, but I want to be able to manipulate them. Now I'll manipulate them using the volume here. Now I want to use some specific harmonics. I had to look this up, uh, but they actually have some here. You look on Wikipedia, you can see here it has the octaves. Like this is the root note. It has an octave down. Sometimes it even has two octaves down, I believe. Uh, an octave up. Sometimes two octaves up, and then it shows. Other notes, harmonics, like uh, it might have the perfect fifth, the tenth, the twelfth, etc. Now, many of these are in the harmonic series. So, like you see here, this is the third harmonic, fifth, sixth, seventh, uh, ninth, etc. The ones that are in the harmonic series can easily be excited using this impulse here. The ones that can't, we're going to have to use another method. But first, let's actually add these harmonics and the octaves in our structure here. So open this up. Instead of using this organ one, uh, just to save myself some time, I'll let you see here, I have organ harmonics. These are the ones I copied. So it has the root, octave up, octave in the fifth, uh, two octaves, I guess this is the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth. Uh, did I go up to the ninth? Yeah, ninth harmonic, the thirteenth, and I have the nineteenth, and was it the twelfth? Maybe it shouldn't go up to 12. I'll just do 11 in that case. Move this down. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, like, hey, I saw in here that one of these is the fifth, which I like. The tenth, it, that's good, but I didn't really like that, so I didn't add it. But I want the fifth, and I also want an octave down and two octaves down. Now, the impulse train isn't going to excite those harmonics so even if i add them in the structure of the modal filter because the impulse train doesn't excite those it's not going to show up but i can use an additive 
module to do this. So we'll use additive synthesis and then we'll mix them together. So I'll add a mixer here, input one, input two, steal the inputs here, and the additives will probably be a lot louder, so I'm gonna bring this down quite a bit. Let's try like a negative 18 or so. Now for the additive, I'm gonna do almost the same thing. This one, I only need about, let's say four or so. Actually, maybe only three. Okay, so three, and then let's take the harmonics we want. So here we have the root, zero. I don't need that. Let's try this two octaves down, negative 24, okay. Next one is uh, 12, so that's an octave up. I don't want that. I want negative 12, okay. And then I need the fifth. This, this is a fifth, but it's up an octave, so I'm going to drop that down, which I believe is seven semitones here, okay. And now when I play all these together, it should sound like an organ, or close to it at least. Now, of course, you want to adjust these because this doesn't sound great. And also, it doesn't have any reverb on it. Let me go in here and add a reverb just to make things a little bit better sounding, in my opinion. Okay, we have this. Turn it down. Let's see. Okay. Now, you're wondering, okay, how do I adjust the different... Uh, volume. So of course I could just do it through here and okay, let's turn this octave down up, turn this down and go into the modal filter and do the same thing and start, oh, okay, turn this down, turn this up, down, up, up, down, 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 and do this kind of randomly and see what comes out. And that's okay, but doing it from here, I want to do it from the easy screen because now I have nothing. And you're wondering, okay, like how do I do this? The way I did this was I took these and I just added them in here. So let's say the first one, the root, what I'm going to do is just use uh, learn, move this back and forth. Let's call this, let's call it root. Yeah. Organ. Now you see this controls the harmonics, so it goes from 0 to 12, I uh, have 50%, that should be 0, everything's okay. Now you see the editor mode, I don't want this normal because it'll just look like a big button, like that. I don't need that. So let's go back. What I want is I want bars, so I'm going to use bar start here, okay? So we have that. Now I'm going to copy it, I'm going to do the same thing. So this copy, click here. Paste it. Now we have this. I'm going to do the same thing like, uh, what is it? Is this the first harmonic or second harmonic? Uh, there, call the second. And then here, instead of volume one, it's volume two. Okay. Now I'll do the same thing again. And I'll call this third. And I could do this for all of them. Just for demonstration purposes, I don't want to spend forever doing this. But let's say we have a third, and we only want three for this. So instead of bars start, I'm going to change this last one to bars end. Now when we look on the easy screen, you see we have these kind of vertical bars we can move. And uh, if I play it, you should be able to hear the sound change. So you get the idea. You can move those around, and that's really cool. I don't want to do all of these because it will take forever, but you get the idea. I'll show you one I made. Here we go. So this is the device I've been making. It's not quite done yet, but you get the idea. So as you see here, it has all the different harmonics. I use like organ uh, terms, I guess. So eighth, this is the root. This is an octave down. This is two octaves down. These are all the harmonics, etc. Sounds like this. And you see it has this randomized button, which is really useful because I can just click it and it'll move all these so I don't have to, you know, do all these uh, manually. If I don't want to, I can just kind of do this. 
Uh, that's okay. All right. Eh. No. No. Eh. Until you kind of find what you want, and then I think, oh, that's pretty close, but this I don't like. And you can mess around with that, and you fine tune it yourself. You're probably thinking, okay, what about this, the base stops at the bottom? For this, what I did is the, this is kind of like the keys and these are almost like the uh, foot pedals, I'd guess. So, as you go to lower, you hear it changes as I go down the scale. So these have a different timbre and they also have a randomized button so it sounds a little bit different each time. I did the same thing. I might add a few more harmonics in there. To do this, I just used another additive module to do it. So you see here, this is what I showed you before, and this is what I have afterwards. I'm sorry. Here, this is for the bass. So I instead of using the modal filter again, I just used an additive module just because it's faster. I was kind of lazy. You could do all of this with the additive module. I just wanted to show you a way you could do it with the impulse train and the modal filter. Another thing I added, I used a filter here just to filter out some of the high end. Sometimes I think it's a little bit harsh if you don't filter it out like I did when I showed you how to set it up. But adding this afterwards and I have it controlled by the tone control here, I'll let you hear what it sounds like here. And that's up to you. Uh, the stereo panning is not really stereo panning. What it does is it allows the low notes to be on one side of the stereo spectrum and the high notes to be on the other. Let me see if I can demonstrate that quickly. So you can hear that on one side and then if I move all the way up like this. You hear that that's on the other side. So it's like if you were sitting at an organ. Uh, but I just thought that was kind of an interesting thing to add. If you like that, you can add that. Uh, if not, you don't have to. If you're interested in how I did this, the randomized and the stereo panning, I can show it to you, but those are kind of advanced things, and I'm sure maybe some of you don't care. If you do, leave that down below. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.